New England Revolution don't need to change identity following Bucks' sale, says Arena. New England Revolution head coach Bruce Arena has called for patience as his team recovers from the sale of Adam Buxa. The Polish striker, who scored seven goals in 10 MLS appearances this season, recently sealed a big move to League One side RC Lenz, joining Tajan Buchanan and Matt Turner as key players to lead the Revs over the past year. If New England have suffered from losing Buxa, they didn't show it as they beat Sporting Kansas City 2-1 on Sunday, thanks to goals from Argentine forward Gustavo Bu and Ghanaian midfielder Emmanuel Boating. Arena insists there's no need for a big evaluation of his team's playing style and is confident the Revs will remain a force in the Eastern Conference, they just need time as Boer gains full fitness and other key players like Henry Kessler come back into the fold. Let us get some games under our belt. Adam Buxa hasn't been gone that long. Gustavo Boo just came back. You know, we will be bringing back Henry Kessler, Arena said in response to a possible change in identity for his team. He added, we're not going to reinvent ourselves. But, we're going to play into our strengths and we know our players. So, you know, I don't think you're going to see a whole lot different than we've shown in the past. One player who will certainly help carry the Revs forward is Dylan Barrero. The Colombia Youth International log his first start for the Revs following a move from Brazilian side Atletico Mineiro and provided the assist for Boo's opening goal. The assist was the cherry on top of a promising 73-minute performance for Barrero, whose link-up with fellow South American forward Boo was particularly eye-catching. I think that with each training session and every day we spend together, we're getting to know one another more and more," Barrero said of his growing relationship with Boo. With all his experience, he talks to me about his movements, and it was nice to assist his goal because he's picking up more confidence. Saturday's win sees the Revs climb to 8th in the Eastern Conference ahead of Wednesday's clash with Orlando City.